what's up what's going on my good people welcome or welcome back to the channel welcome back to another day of vlogmas i'm not really sure what day it is and to be honest with you this video was not planned so me and honey are over here it's saturday we plan on being couch potatoes i filmed some content earlier and so once she said she wanted to chill because we were going to go out and do some stuff but it was like nah let's chill we're gonna watch some vlogs some tv shows movies all that right so I was like, I'm going to run out and get us some snacks. She wanted some ginger ale. I was going to go to Dollar Tree and just grab a bunch of stuff. And I also wanted some beer. So snacks, ginger ale, beer, that was it. So I go into Dollar Tree and y'all, I could not believe the decorations that they had. Now, I have gotten Christmas decorations from Dollar Tree before. But like I said, I wasn't thinking about that, right? And... Also, when it comes to decorations, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do this year. I've been going back and forth on do I want a tree? If I do get a tree, is it going to be a real tree, a fake tree? Do I want to deal with sweeping up the needles when they start dropping? Where am I going to put this big ass tree when it's done with this box? Like, where is it going to go? I have a place to put it, but it's like, do I want to take up all that space? So I've been contemplating on what I was going to do. So when I saw the decorations, I'm like, this is actually perfect. I can put stuff throughout my apartment to really get me in the holiday spirit because I want to be in the holiday spirit. And honestly, because I'm not going to be with my family this year, I feel like I need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want that. Like, I, I want it. That'll boost my spirits up even more. Um, just, you know, sprinkling some decorations and some color and stuff around my apartment. So anyways, I got a bunch of bags over on the table and I'm going to show you everything that I got, including our snacks. I'm going to show you everything I got from Dollar Tree. And I also stopped at... They didn't have ginger ale at Dollar Tree. I stopped at Speedway to get her um, to get her some ginger ale. Because y'all, guess what? Out of all the things I can remember in my life, it's two things I cannot remember for the life of me. I cannot remember my driver's license number. And I've been driving since I was 16, y'all. So I couldn't remember my California driver's license number. I ain't even thought about trying to remember the Ohio number. I have no idea what it is. Um, so it's three things. So can't remember my driver's license in California, the one here in Ohio, and I can never remember to get my honey ginger ale. Y'all, it's been like four times where she has asked me to do to get ginger ale. Baby, can you get me ginger ale while you out or whatever? And I will ask her, baby, you want something while I'm out? And I don't get the ginger ale. So I've been really trying to focus on remembering this damn ginger ale. And I got it right. I got it right. I couldn't find a small one. Got her a two liter. So she can go ahead and fill her cup up throughout the day or the rest of the weekend if she wants to. Um... Anyways, all right, let me go ahead and let me let me show you what I got. So here's a look at everything that I picked up while I was out. It was in the bag, y'all, but I had to pull it out because this is easier for y'all to see. I ain't want to be struggling pulling stuff out the bag. Uh, let's start here with the snacks. So I got two beef sticks. I got some cheeses, Snickers, some Sour Patch Kids. It's another pack, but honey, already got them open. It's the watermelon kind. The watermelon Sour Patch Kids are fire. And I'm not a big Sour Patch Kid fan, but I love the watermelon ones. The tropical ones are good too. Got some beef jerky, teriyaki and original. Those are all our snacks. We got, I got the big thing. I got the, I got the ginger ale, y'all. And then Bud Light Platinum. That's our favorite beer, y'all. Well, I know it's mine. Is Bud Light your favorite too, baby? It's your favorite? Okay, so it's her favorite too. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so now into what I picked up and didn't intend to pick up. All right, so do I have a, I thought I had two of these. Hold on. Oh, these two of them. Okay, so I got some faux snow. Faux snow. I got these little angels right here, y'all. These are going to hold our stockings. Isn't that so cute? This is my favorite thing that I picked up by far. Y'all look at this. Merry, happy, jolly Christmas wishes. This is going on my door, y'all. I love this so much. Yes. Had to get that. As soon as I saw it, I, this, that might be the first thing I picked up. This is what convinced me. I was like, oh, now I got to go get a basket. As soon as I saw this, I said, I'm going to find some stuff in here that I like. Um, so I got these. Some decorative bells. Got four of them. Two red, two gold. Um, I got two packs of these. 20 lights, mini lights. I think I might put this around the bar cart. I don't know um got a little christmas tree this little christmas tree here um this is like i guess goes on like a door i may or i don't know i may not even use everything got this as well this looks like a cool centerpiece maybe i might put this on the dining room table during the holiday season um got a little fake poinsettia which is perfect 
because Lord knows every time I try to get a real one, it never makes it. Um, got these little trees. It's two. It's two of them. Let me see if I can get this out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Got a gold one. Got a red one. And the last thing are these stockings. I got us some stockings. Two stockings. And like I said, I'll be able to, they have the little hook here on the angels. So this was a nice surprise. I thought that everything looked really nice. Um, there were some other things that caught my eye too, but I was just trying to not do too much because I think I'll use everything that I picked up, but it's also okay if I don't. Um, yeah, so in this vlog, you'll see me, we I'm going to decorate. Honey's going to help me decorate. We're going to put this stuff up and, you know, see how it all turns out, see where everything goes. What's up, y'all? Good morning. It is now Monday. It is December 4th. It is 1038 in the morning. Um, so for the rest of the weekend, me and honey, we just chill. I thought we were going to decorate, but it's also okay that we didn't. So we napped, we snacked, and we watched TV. That was it. So it was a very laid back weekend, which I can always appreciate. Um, so I'm going to do the decorations today after I make breakfast. I woke up and I was like, I just, I was in a mood for like fried eggs. Now I have the eggs. I have some of the vegetables that I want to put with my fried eggs. I didn't have everything. I have spinach. I have onions, mushrooms. What else do I have that I, that I wanted to put in there? It was something else. But anyways, I have green bell pepper, but I wanted yellow bell pepper and I wanted avocado too. So I ran to Kroger and of course I picked up a couple other things while I was there. Um, but the one thing I wanted to show y'all was this bread that I bought. This type of bread, I bought this brand before, but I've never bought this particular bread. Y'all, there are so many options in the bread aisle. I stood there for about 10 to 15 minutes reading the labels and stuff. I know labels can be confusing. I know a lot of us feel like we can't have bread, shouldn't have bread. I think that bread is okay, but we just have to pick, you know, make better uh, choices when it comes to bread. Um, and that really just boils down to reading the label and just having the information so that you can make a better decision. Because me, I know I was eating a lot of the wrong breads for the most of my most of my life. I'm sure I have. Um, I didn't really start reading food labels until like my late 20s. Doesn't mean I was making better decisions all the time, but at least I knew how to read a label. And then this piece of information as it relates to like bread and flour and stuff like that was a game changer for me. So. I'm about to show you this. I'm going to show you the couple things that I bought and then show you this label and then I'm going to start making breakfast. So here's what I picked up from Kroger. I got some veggie pot stickers. My first time trying these. Um, I'm doing an eating video later. I'm going to have fried rice. So I wanted to have something on the side, so I got these. Um, I got avocados. I want avocado with my fried eggs for breakfast this morning. But I also want to be able to have avocado toast throughout the week. I got bell peppers, yellow bell peppers. They were on sale for 99 cents. And I got a bag of cuties. Y'all, I get cuties, I feel like, every time I go grocery shopping. Every single time. This is like my favorite fruit right now. Um, it's just easy to just grab with me when I'm leaving the house to make sure I have a little something uh, while I'm out. Love these. And the last thing I bought is the bread that I was talking about a second ago. So I have bought Sara Lee many times in my life, many, many times, but I've never bought this particular one. So um, delightful. So it's 45 calories, which is huge. That's a big deal. So I'm going to focus on that first. So if you are a person who's trying to lose weight and you have to be in a caloric deficit to do that, this is a really great option. You don't have to give bread up. You don't have to stop eating toast for breakfast. You don't have to give up your sandwiches. Um, so it's 45 calories per slice of bread. So two slices of bread is 90 calories. That is really good because there are quite a few different types of bread where one slice of bread is 110 calories. So two slices, 220 calories. So that's a big, that's a big difference. Um, and now the other reason why I picked this bread is because of this right here. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, here it is right here. All right. So the first ingredient on this bread, hopefully y'all can see it. It says whole wheat flour, whole wheat flour. I know for sure that I have spent most of my life buying bread that says enriched flour instead of whole wheat flour. That makes a huge difference. So enriched, enriched flour, 
basically is when is the process of stripping out the natural nutrients and adding in synthetic nutrients. And those synthetic nutrients can basically cause inflammation to like your gut area, which results in you gaining weight, you know? So just making those swaps and making those adjustments, you don't really have to give up your favorite things. You can still have them, but it's just about making better and healthier choices. So I always, whenever I have bread, I pick up whole wheat. It has to say whole wheat flour as the first ingredient. Here's my plate. Got my cuties off to the side, fried eggs in the middle. Um, I forgot about my tomatoes, so I added them on top along with the avocado. A little drizzle of sriracha. Perfect. I'm about to smash this, y'all. All right, y'all. So I just got done eating breakfast. Now, it wasn't a whole lot of food, but it was very satisfying. I feel good. Um, so now I can focus on these decorations. The good thing is that it's not a lot of stuff. So it should be pretty easy. It shouldn't take me long. I should be done in like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 30 minutes even sounds long. But anyway, um, let me get these bags. I'm going to put stuff where I think it goes best. And then I'll show you how it all turns out. it's now time to look at the decorations starting with the sign i love this so much y'all i really really do so glad i found this um and when you come in everything is the same in this area you know if i had a more neutral colored couch i would have added like a throw i would have swapped out the pillows and stuff for the holiday season but that's okay though um i got this here on the back of the door this christmas tree and then over here got the stockings for me and honey Got the angels holding the stockings. And this was a nice surprise. So I grabbed this because I like the way that it looked. I didn't know that this actually lit up. So I added the batteries and got the flickering action. I love that. And then over here on the bar cart, added some lights. Got the poinsettia as well. Um, I need to figure out what kind of rum I want to drink for the holiday season. Whatever I decide to drink, I'm going to add it to my decanter. I'm going to have that in eggnog. And then the last things are down here. I had an extra container that I wasn't using. The other ones that I have like this have my rice in it. Um, so I put the bells in there. I added the, the faux snow is down there as well. And the Christmas trees. And that's it. All right, y'all. So that is it. We've reached the end of the vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I will meet y'all in the comments. Also, I'm looking for rum recommendations. So I want to get my rum and my eggnog, but I'm open to trying a different type of rum. So drop your suggestions in the comments. That's it, y'all. Make the best of the day. Be good to yourself. Peace.